What's good? It's your girl T Chanel and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah. Yes, we have May's fragrance basket. Okay, my basket is making its entrance like always. <laughs> I say you're wrong. I say you're wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> So yes, and I actually have a little bit of a bonus this time. I ordered some things from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. So I want to open that and incorporate some of the things into my fragrance basket this month. So yeah, let's get into it. Before we get started, are you subscribed? Okay. Have you been watching my videos and you not subscribed yet? Like, come on, sis. Come on, boo. Go ahead. Join the fam. Okay. Hit the red be button below and subscribe. I love beauty. I love fragrance. I love so many different things that we talk about on this channel. And we always have fun. One thing I can guarantee, you're going to laugh. If you're not going to laugh, you're going to learn something new and you are going to have a good time. Okay. There's no doubt about that. So it's time to plug out, vibe with your girl, ride with your girl and let's go. So yes, y'all, I ordered from um, Victoria's Secret and um, Bath and Body Works. So let's get the packages and let's open them. I completely forgot what I ordered too. This is from Victoria's Secret. Always coming in a black bag, so we will open this. I think, I know there's some um, skincare in here. I just forgot what I ordered, y'all. Okay, this is from Pink. Does it even say? It doesn't say anything, so we're just going to open it one by one. So, this is Floral Morning Dream. I really do like the shade of purple on this um Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret. Here are the notes. Morning Dew softens Lily of the Valley fresh honeysuckle. Um, so this is very nice, light, airy. It's sweet. It is not sickeningly sweet at all. It's perfect for spring. Um, you do smell the honey. Uh, Lily of the Valley I'm getting a little bit, but I'm getting more of like a honey, sweet, light, airy fragrance. So definitely happy I purchased this. Okay, y'all, next is Ruby Rose <laughs> Raspberry and Rose Petals. Look, this is one of my tried and true favorites. Like, I'm holding it to the side, you know, not trying to take it out into the summertime, but this is one of my favorite fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret. It's Sparkling Raspberry, Velvet Rose, and Dipped Decadence. It is a beautiful, sweet, raspberry um smell uh you you definitely smell the rose in there as well it pairs very well with narcisco rodriguez um must noir rose so if you have that this right here is great to pair with it and i really do enjoy this fragrance so i'm glad i got a backup while they had a sale going on i believe these fragrance mists were 5.95 if i'm not mistaken when i purchased them Okay, and then the last box I have is Floral Morning Dream, but it is the lotion. Same notes that we talked about already. All right, and let's see what else. I think there's something else in here. Oh, I got some free panties. Yes. Okay, and for my girls, okay, who thick with it, thick with it, <laughs> online, look, they have XXL, and I think they may even go a size higher than this online so in the stores they only go up to extra large so if you're looking for some really cute panties they always have them on sale you buy something you get it for free like you don't gotta spend a lot of money y'all like wait till they have the fragrance mist on sale you know keep your coupon and just go ahead and redeem your panties and you can order it on in the store so you go into the store and you get your fragrance mist uh, and then you tell them, hey, I want pennies in such and such size. Like, you don't have them in the store. They will order it and ship it for free to your home, even if they don't have the products in the store. As long as they have it online, if you go in the store, you, sh you save the shipping costs. So I'm dropping that for free, okay? All right, so let's put these to the side while we get the rest of my stuff that I have from Bath & Body Works. So while I'm opening this, do y'all have any special plans for spring? Like, are you taking any trips with your kids or your family? Are you going with your boo somewhere? Or 
you know, doing a solo trip, let me know in the comments below. I am getting ready to go to Disney with my son for his birthday. He's turning four. So we are headed out to Disney World. I'm excited about that. So, all right. Looking here, I got Calm Heaven Lavender and Iris. Um, I believe this was a sale. They were, I think it was $5.95 as well that um, Bath & Body Works had. Either $5.95 or $5.50. Um, I forgot. But this is their, um, their aroma line that they have. Let me see if it has anything else. No. All right, yeah. This is their aroma um, line that they have. Let's smell it. Okay, this smells good. I actually have a... Um, I have a lotion over there that I'm going to um, keep this to the side so you can see what lotion it's reminding me of. Uh-oh, here go your girl, Rose and Vanilla. I'm excited to smell this. I love their Rose and Vanilla that they had like a year ago and then they replaced it with like some love that had chocolate in it. I was so disappointed because it did not smell the same. So now this Rose and Vanilla is online only. Let's smell it. This rose and vanilla is so beautiful. I really do enjoy this. If you're able, you know, if you're ordering online, all right, because I know it's not fun paying those shipping charges, y'all, but if you're ordering online and you like rose and vanilla, okay, and I'm not saying it's like Delina. No, it's not like Delina or Delina Exclusive, but it does have that essence because it has the rose and vanilla. It's a very, very, very light version of that. And it goes with so many of, you know, your perfumes, body mist. It really is a nice um, shower gel and a great scent. So I am so super excited to have this. And let's see what else I got. The body wash and foam bath here. And then I have, look, the essential... Make sure it focuses. Yes. And I have the essential um, oil mist, which you could use in your room and also on yourself. Okay. So we will be using that. And let's see what else we have here, y'all. I think I did gingham up. What is this? Okay. Let's start with this gingham gorgeous. I have the lotion over there. And they did not have this in store, so I ordered it online during one of the sales that they had. The notes, I don't know if the notes are here. I have the notes over there, so we're going to go over the notes a little bit later. But I'm excited to have this in the collection. It's very fresh and sweet. What is this? Oh, this is for the, um, the rose and vanilla. I forgot I ordered the whole set. Yes. They done made it so difficult to get it out of the thing. Okay, so here's um, the Inspire Love Rose and Vanilla Moisturizing Body Lotion. I really do like this, like having the glass case with the pump, like it is a really nice mood. Very nice. This is a great gift as well. If you're able to get it on sale, it is definitely worth it. And I am once again so super excited to have this in my collection. All right, y'all, let's see what else is in the box. Look at this gingham fresh. Top came off. Let me make sure nobody sprayed it. Okay, and as a reminder, if you want to make sure nobody else has sprayed your body mist or your perfume, go ahead and spray it. See how it's loading up there? It's not spraying. There it is. Now it's good. So let's take a look at the notes together. It's very juicy scent, fresh, juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies i smell all three scents the pear definitely comes through that's at the top of this and it follows through for me with the scent um, clementine it freshens it but it's not as prominent as the pear and then the daisies you do smell those flowers in this fragrance i really do enjoy this fragrance and i am excited to try it i have the look i have the body mist y'all i have the lotion and I got this one on purpose because I did not want <laughs> the 24-hour moisturizing um, lotion to be, um, you know, curdling up on me. So I got the lotion and I see now they added the coconut oil on top of the shea butter, which is nice. I have the shower gel. And look, y'all, I picked this up on the sale perfume to have in my purse. So I'm super excited. 
All right, so that's it for my haul, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this basket. All right, y'all, starting with the moisturizers. None other than Nivea Essentially Enriched Deep Nourishing Serum is in this in almond oil, 48-hour moisture body lotion. I love this. I've talked about it before. It is very, very good. It gives you like a glow from within. You can find this at Walmart, Target. It's easily accessible and it is very good. So have this as my no scent moisturizer. So next, Johnson's Aloe and Vitamin E Oil Gel. I always think it's nice to have an oil ready and available for you to use from head to toe. So Johnson's does not fail when it comes to that and their baby oil. So I wanted to have this in my basket this month. And it does have a very light smell, very, very light. It's spring, so I'm bringing in the Dove Whipped Body Cream, Lavender and Coconut Milk. All right, the lavender, it is lavendering on this one, okay? And you do smell the coconut milk. I do have, you know, a couple of fragrances with coconut and I'm, I, I don't know, I'm getting into the coconut, especially with spring and summer coming. So I'm looking forward to using this. I really like the consistency. It's nice and thick as well. So this is a nice one to have for my basket this month. Fancy skin, I had to bring her back. This is a moisturizing cream. You can see it is very thick. I mean, look, homegirl really ain't going nowhere. It does have a light flowery scent. I, In my opinion, it goes well for the season and it is nice. So I have this as a moisturizer for this month. And I do like this Fenty Skin, but I don't use it like all the time, you know, like to fully moisturize my body, I'm going to use the Nivea and the Johnson's. However, the Fenty Skin is good. Like if you have a particular niche perfume or even a designer perfume that's flowery and you want to accent that, that's when I pull out the Fenty Skin. All right. So this is something I wanted to show y'all and shout out to Cynthia 106. Okay. If you're not following her channel, and you like Bath & Body Works, you definitely need to check her channel out. She is an employee with Bath & Body Works. She's always on top of everything. And she had a video, I think it was like eight months ago, maybe a year ago that I watched. And she showed like how to tell the difference between if a moisturizer is good or bad. So I already knew about the date at the top. I've told you this in more than one video, but we're gonna say it one more time time okay and this is rose i had to get a replacement um this is the old one here and this is the new one i had to get a replacement because this one has gone bad and i'm gonna show you how you can tell the difference by the consistency okay can you tell when it was made look at that there's a two 2022 okay so that is the first sign now secondly <laughs> This is what I wanted to show y'all. Now, in Cynthia's video, she puts it on paper towel, which is what I have here. And I'm going to show you the consistency, but also there's other ways for you to tell. Let me show y'all. See this? I'm going to shake it. Are you hearing anything? No, because the moisturizer is like in a consistency where it's not separating or anything. However, take a listen to this. Can you hear that? It's making it clap and drop it like it's hot. Y'all, this moisturizer is no bueno. It should not be making that noise. It's all curdled inside. And look, see that? See how it just dropped in the bottom? Look, I'm gonna turn it over. It just dropping. Uh-uh, no. Your moisturizer should not be doing that. With this one, look. I'm not getting no clapping. I'm not getting none of that, okay? Now let's look at the consistency, which is the clear tell-all. So here's my paper towel. This is the old one. Let's look at that first. And I want to make sure you can see it on the camera. Okay, here's the old one. 
see how it's like curdling a little bit? And I hope you can see that. Like see how it has the indentations and it's curdling as it's going up. All right, let's look at the new one and let's compare. Look at that, y'all. Smooth. Do you see the difference? Look at how smooth the one is on the right compared to the one that's on the left. Like, you definitely cannot make this up. It is proof in the pudding. And this is the tried and true way for you to see if a moisturizer is good or not. Look how smooth this one is compared to this one with all the, you know, curdling, looking like cottage cheese. If your moisturizer looks like cottage cheese, girl, it's got to go. Stay or go. He has to go, blood. He has to go, blood. And, and I'm not going to add this in the basket for this month, but I just wanted you to see the difference now that I got the new one. When they had the sale, I wanted to show you that. All right, y'all. Here's cucumber and green tea refresh from Victoria's Secret. A very fresh green tea scent. I had it in the basket last month. You can see my dent that's on there. So I want to continue to use this oil. It's very nice. It goes with like my green scents for spring, which I really do enjoy. I also, I'm not going to put the scrubs in the basket, but I did want to show you some scrubs that I'm going to pair with things that I have. This is cucumber water, uh, a refreshing body scrub. It is, um, this one does not like get soapy at all. Like it is a pure <laughs> scrub, um, but it is nice. It does have um, hyaluronic acid in it, which is good. Uh, it does have oils. Um in it as well and it's a nice scrub i definitely do enjoy using it cucumber fresh it goes well with the cucumber and green tea i finished the body wash and i had that um well i actually added that just to my empties a couple of days ago but yes i like to pair these and i want to show this because i have a fragrance i mentioned the fragrance in my spring video when you see these notes and you see this Tell me, what do you think the fragrances I'm talking about? So this is the Blueberry Extract, um, the Wellness Collection from Bath & Body Works Glowing Radiant Skin Body Butter. I did show this um, last basket as well. A blueberry scent, very nice, okay? So in my spring video, I showed Bond Number 9, Madison Square Park. Madison Square Park has grass, okay? hinting off of the um, green tea that we have here, that freshness that comes in with a green a grass scent, and then blueberry is also in that scent. So I specifically chose these so I can have, you know, my scrub going on, I can have my oil, I can have my blueberry, nice glowing skin radiant body butter and then top it all off with none other than madison square park so i'm really i uh, feel like that's going to be a good combination for me this month and i'm adding it to the basket all right y'all next sweet pea bath and body works i have the shower gel for this i have the fragrance mist which i want to put a dent in so we have this here and I also have the body lotion. So let's take a look at the notes on Sweet Pea. Fragrance notes, Sweet Pea, watery pear, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, and soft musk. This is a fruity, sweet scent. Freesia, I've said it before, it is, you know, one of the flowers of the season for spring. This is a raspberry pear freesia scent with a touch of musk for freshness, but it is mainly sweet. Any age can wear sweet pea, okay, from young to old. I do feel like it is, you know, 
it is a scent that, you know, goes more towards a younger crowd. So if you have a little girl in your life who's under the age of 18 and she wants to try something from Bath and Body Works and you're like, oh, I don't know, Sweet Pea is the one to choose. But even if you're over 18, look, I'm in my 30s and I'm still wearing Sweet Pea because it is a nice scent. Um, if you layer it right, it gets compliments. It is, you know, Sweet Pea. <laughs> <laughs> what else can I say? So let's go ahead and add her to the basket. All right, y'all, playing off of our sweet fruity scents. Look, this is like a grown up sweet pea, I guess you could say. <laughs> Gingham Gorgeous. This is the shower gel. All right, so we breaking out the haul now, y'all. And this I actually already had. They had this in store, so I didn't have to order online. It's the Gingham Gorgeous 24 hour whipped body butter with shea butter and cocoa butter. So let's take a look at Gingham Gorgeous and the notes which are here, pink strawberries, peach nectar, peony blooms. And peony is the other flower <laughs> stays being in some spring fragrances. So I really do enjoy this scent. Here's the body butter if you're interested in seeing. It's very thick and moisturizing. I have to say Bath & Body Works does do a pretty good job with their moisturizers. You smell the sweet strawberries in here. It has the touch of peach, but peony is also a star in it as well. This is a very nice scent. You know, now that I, I just smell sweet pea and now I'm smelling Gingham Gorgeous, from what I just said, it's, it's hitting it for me that Gingham Gorgeous is like a grown up sister of sweet pea. <laughs> and um, it smells more mature. It's still sweet, it's very sweet but it smells more mature than Sweet Pea. So I am looking forward to using Gingham Gorgeous and having it in my basket this month. I do not have the fragrance mist on purpose. Look y'all, I got a lot of products and fragrance mist. It's not easy to get through a whole fragrance mist. Like you can get through the shower gel really, really quick. That's the first thing that's gonna go. Then, you know, when it comes to your lotions and your body butters, you're gonna get through that. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but that fragrance mist, you know, you're gonna get through, but it's gonna take you a while longer. So I didn't pick it up because I felt like with Gingham Gorgeous, I don't know, Fresh was speaking to me a little bit more. So that's the reason why it's not here. Um, however, I have so many other things that I can mix. I can make up my concoctions. It makes me think outside of the box and get in the lab. So you don't always need the fragrance mist and the whole set. Like You can make it do what it do with what you have. So let's go ahead and add Gingham Gorgeous to the basket. All right, next we have Gingham Fresh. Here is the shower gel. Then we have the um, body lotion. And as you can see, I'm not messing with those creams no more, y'all. I have the body lotions. First and foremost, they are cheaper. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I'm just playing. But I think they're still cheaper than the new ones. I think the new body creams are $18.95. And I guess the lotions are $16.95. Speaking of that, they done missed Look, this is fully wrapped. I have not opened it, but look how they done missed a spot. Uh-uh. Fill up my lotion to the top, Bath & Body Works. Stop playing with me, please. Together? Now. You're tripping. I want all of my fluid ounces in here. The full eight, not 7.5. Anyways, okay, this is the body lotion, and I'm getting this now versus the cream because you see how the cream goes out? The lotion lasts for a longer time, so that is another tip. Okay, when you're looking to get your sets so and you want lotion, I know the moisturizing body cream, it feels great, it is nice. However, it's always good to mix your lotion with a regular moisturizer like the Nivea I had, the Johnson & Johnson. It's gonna give you all the moisture that you need and then you're not gonna have body creams going bad on you looking like cottage cheese like what I showed you earlier, okay? <laughs> so keep that in mind while you're at the store and you're looking at things and you think about how many products you have and what you gotta get through, the lotion you know, may be a better option. I also have the mist, so I really did like Gingham Fresh when I smelled it. I thought it was worth getting the mist. The notes on this, once again, a juicy pear, sparkling clementine, 
fresh daisies. This is a crisp pear scent. It reminds me, um, sorry, I was out of focus. It reminds me of like white t-shirt, but with pear and a little bit of flower with the daisies. That's what this reminds me of. So if you like white t-shirt and you like pear, then more than likely you're gonna like gingham fresh. So yes, I'm excited to have that in my basket. I think it's important to have a fresh fragrance, especially during the springtime. Like there's nothing like feeling fresh, smelling fresh, okay? Going out, feeling the wind in your hair if you're on the beach or just walking on the boardwalk or whatever you're doing, walking in the park and you feel that breeze and you have that freshness going, mm, so nice. So I am definitely adding this to the basket for the month. All right, next, look, I have the full set here, y'all, of coconut milk and rose from Victoria's Secret Calm. This is their moisturizing cream body wash. Look, this body wash right here, in my opinion, it does top Bath and Body Works um, shower gel. Uh, I also think it tops their um, moisturizing body wash as well. Let me know your opinion on that. But this is so creamy and luxurious in the shower. I love putting it on my loofah or the washcloth and just, you know, it's just an amazing experience. So whenever this goes on sale, let me tell you, I buy it. I just finished, as I told you earlier, the cucumber and um, green tea that's back there in the corner. I had the body wash for that and I finished it. I really did enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to experiencing this in my basket for the month of May. I have that moisturizing body wash. And then next, look what I have, y'all exfoliating body scrub this scrub right here this scrub right here <laughs> let me show you y'all so here is the scrub i know it probably looks weird on the camera you're like oh my god i don't know about that scrub this is one of the best scrubs it is one of the best scrubs it gets so soapy it has a great lather I don't know if this scrub is sugar-based. Maybe it's, let's see. Yes, it is. See, rich sugar scrub with walnut shell powder. So that's the dark speckles you saw. Walnut shell powder gently exfoliates for smooth, glowing skin. And emphasis on the gentle. It is not abrasive at all. It's not going to hurt your skin. It lathers up so nice. It is such a good body scrub and I really do enjoy using this as you can see I have a significant dent inside of this container and my goal is to finish it this month so we have the scrub we have the body wash then we have the 24-hour moisture whipped body butter same coconut milk and rose so I've used this, but I got to use it a little bit more. It's a nice consistency mm, and it smells so good. Let me tell you, this coconut milk and rose, it actually reminds me of a perfume. Uh, the rose, it is, it's, I'm not, I don't want to say that it's pungent. It's not pungent, but it's not like, um, you know, a, a deep rose, let's just say that. The coconut milk gives it a little bit of a lactonic, um, you know, smell to it. And it's just, it's smooth. It's smooth, y'all. Let me spray it now. All right, y'all, here's the body mist. It's called Calm for a reason. It is so feminine, so nice. As I said, it's lactonic, it's rose, it's not in your face. It is perfumey, uh, but it's a very, like, to me, it is a nice, rejuvenating, light scent, uh, but it's light, but coming through, if that makes sense. So there's the set, and I will be adding that to my basket. I'm excited to use it for this month, for sure. All right, next, y'all, white t-shirt. I had to bring it back for the season, okay? There's nothing like smelling like a crisp white tea, okay? Here are the notes. Crisp hair, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, soft sandalwood. 
This is a very nice scent, great for work. I didn't really put a dent in it last year, so I said this year, y'all, I'm gonna put a dent in it. Here is the Fragrance Mist. All right, I don't know if you can, yeah, there's like, let me see where this is. I think it's like right here. Sorry, I think it's like right here. So yeah, we gotta put a dent in your girl. I'm looking forward to wearing that to work. Smelling it with the pear. Uh, it smells really nice and fresh, as mentioned. However, it has that sandalwood, okay? So that's bringing the creaminess. When I just smelled this, it made me think of um, Adam Levine's um, designer perfume for women. That is a nice sandalwood scent. I think it'll pair really well with this. So I'm going to pair that. I'm going to see how that goes when I go to work. You cannot overspray that Adam Levine because if you do, mm. Let me tell you, the projection, it is there with that fragrance. So let's go ahead and add white t-shirt to the basket for May. All right, in the basket this month, we have Hello Beautiful. Look at all of our beautiful flowers on there. You know we had to have this for spring, right? We had to whip her out. Let's take a look at the notes here. Fragrance notes, white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk, okay? You see how these fragrances, you, you got the flowers and you have the musk, okay, at the end. So Hello Beautiful is a very nice smell. It is flowery. To me, it screams spring with those flowers in there. And it's nice to have, it's nice to mix with your perfumes that have flowers in it. I have the moisturizing body wash. I also have the body cream. And this body cream, I gotta work on it, y'all, because I think I have about maybe three more months with that body cream, and then we gotta let her go. So we're gonna get through it this month in May with Hello Beautiful, smelling like flowers everywhere we go, mixing it with some other things like... You know, you wouldn't think that certain things go together, but like I said, you got to get in the lab, get in that kitchen, and make your own concoction. You can do it! And like the Hello Beautiful may go really well with the Gingham Gorgeous, actually thinking about it. Um, if you want to contrast and see how it works, Hello Beautiful with white t-shirt, that might give something. So, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be mixing dipping, dabbling, see how things work out for me, but I'm excited to have Hello Beautiful in my basket this month. All right, so the next fragrance, I've been craving this fragrance. I love this fragrance from Victoria's Secret, and you're gonna see when, look, let the dent speak for itself. Look at this, y'all. Pineapple Cove. Do you know about Pineapple Cove? Do you see the dent on Pineapple Cove? This is a beautiful, sweet scent. Let's look at the notes. Pink pineapple, neon papaya, and our last infamous note that Victoria's Secret always have, sweet retreat. <laughs> but this is so nice and tropical. I've been wanting to smell, you know, the sweet, juicy scents. And I know spring is coming, the end of June, okay? It's coming for our sweet scents, but there's something in me right now that's like, I want to smell Pineapple Cove. So it is such a nice, sweet smell. It does dry to me. The, the dry down, it is a little bit woody with that sweetness. So it pairs very well with Tiziana Terenzi Kirky. If you have that, I have the Fragrance Mist and I have the Sorry for not showing you. I have the uh, moisturizing uh, fragrance lotion. Very nice. Aren't the colors very cute? It's so nice, y'all. So this is giving me a touch of summer in my May basket for spring. I just wanted something a little juicy to start mixing things and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and add Pineapple Cove into our basket. Next, look, I have Pink Chiffon, y'all. She is back. I wanted to include this lotion. I am working on it. As you can see, the fragrance notes in pink chiffon, sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiare flower, vanilla orchid, chiffon musk. So to me, pink chiffon, you could use it, you know, all year round. However, with the pear and the jasmine, 
the touch of vanilla and the musk. It has notes of things that I have in my basket still for this month. It is a good lotion and yeah, I still want to include it in here. So we're going to go ahead and add her in. So look, y'all, here's Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This is the Beachy Glow Body Lotion. So I have the set for this. However, I did not want to include the set. I was just looking for the glow. Let me show you. Ooh. I put a little bit too much. <laughs> um, Let's see how this demonstration is going to go. Oh, dear Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hoing, hoing. But I wanted to show you what the glow looks like on the skin. Can you see that? How it's making me like glow. Let me rub it in before I Okay, so there it is, y'all. It is a it's a light, like it's not sparkly, it is glow, but this is so nice. In the spring and summertime, I'm in South Florida by the beach, just going on the beach, like when the sun is maybe five o'clock, six, like it's still there, but it's starting to set a little bit. So nice against your skin, taking pictures, going out with friends, being on the beach at a bar, something like that. Like, I want to definitely incorporate this. And it does, it smells nice, but it's not giving everything that like the mist and the lotion does. I'm going to show you the notes here. Hopefully. There you go. So the notes on Pink Pineapple Sunrise. You have swink. <laughs> swink. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. You have sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, sun-drenched nectar. Okay. And I'm actually glad that I have this because, you know, when this came out, the Pink Pineapple Sunrise... At the same time, in the back, that Victoria's Secret Pineapple Cove we just went over came out. A lot of people were fans of this Pink Pineapple Sunrise. They were raving about it. But in my mind, <laughs> Pineapple Cove definitely won against Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, you know, they used to be together, but they got a divorce. <laughs> They're no longer underneath the same company, but with that battle, Pineapple Cove won, hands down. I wish that we were laying in the Tell me if you agree or not in the comments. Leave a comment below and let me know. Which one do you think is better, Pink Pineapple Sunrise or Pineapple Cove? So Pink Suede, let's look at the notes, y'all. Blush Berries, Velvet Peonies, Soft Cotton. This is a nice, likable smell. It has blush berries, so that means there's raspberry and strawberry. The blushing berries are in here. Uh, it has the peonies and then the cotton musk. I told y'all peonies was a flower of the season, so that's another reason why I'm bringing this out. I don't have the lotion or the fragrance mist, and I did that on purpose. I just got the shower gel to use at a moment like this. When I have other things I could use in my basket and I could just add this to take a nice shower with. So I'm looking forward to using that. Next, y'all. Are you surprised? <laughs> Victoria's Secret Love Spell. This is your cherry peach fragrance from Victoria's Secret Infamous. What is it? Love Spell. Victoria's Secret. Look, when you talk about spring, I don't see how anybody could talk about spring and not talk about Love Spell. This right here, been around the block for years. Sometimes it does get tiring. Uh, when I was growing up, my cousin loved Love Spell. That's all she wanted to wear. Oh, Love Spell, Love Spell. <laughs> and it goes for, you know, women of all ages, even young ladies, okay? You can have your Love Spell just like your Sweet Pea. But this scent, I, I'm, I was getting tired of it, but this year I'm like, let me bring it back out and let me start mixing it. Let me do my combinations. Let's spray it. It's a very sweet peach smell. Think of peaches, okay? And I would think of sugar, sugar sprinkles peaches in a bowl. Then you have cherry juice that you put on top and put some fresh cherries. That's what Love Spell is bringing to me. It's peaches and some cherry juice in a bowl. 
So I'm looking forward to using that. And then finally, y'all, look what I have in the basket this month. Sol de Janeiro making a debut. Brazilian Crush Cheriosa number 40, black, amber plum, and vanilla woods. Ooh Look, if you don't have this right here, if you don't have this right here, like, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't know what you're doing, but you need to find out about this. Go to your local Sephora and check it out. I know they have three new ones. I haven't checked them out yet. I will definitely do so soon. However, I'm not in a rush because number 40 smells so good. Let's spray it, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this smells so good. The plum is deep on here. It has the amber as well to carry it. The vanilla is sweet. Um, the woodsiness, I feel like that comes maybe in the dry down a little bit, but it's more of the vanilla. I don't really get some strong woods from this. I'm getting fruity, creamy, sweet, okay? I feel like you can really wear this any time of the year, no matter what season it is. Spring, it's nice to wear. Summer nights, ooh, going on a date or going somewhere tropical, you could wear this. In the fall, I feel like you can wear this because that vanilla can carry you through the winter and you can still have something that's fruity. This is a nice scent. Like, look, Brazilian Crush, they know, they know what they're doing. They really know what they're doing. Like, some of their scents really be hitting it out the park. So, I am excited to have number 40 in the basket this month and let's fully load her up. All right, y'all. So here is my basket for the month of May. We have the fruitiness coming. We have the freshness. We have the flowers. We have the sexiness. Okay, we have everything in between. And I am so excited about it. What are you wearing this month? Okay, is there anything here that you have that you think you're going to put on uh, for this month? Is there anything else that you have that your nose is leaning towards, okay? Are you leaning towards the more freshies? Are you leaning towards more sweet? All right, leave a comment below. Interact with me. I would love to talk to you. Make sure you thumbs up this video and like it. You made it this far. So, boo, you might as well just like the video at this point. Support your girl. Make sure to subscribe, okay? We got the videos coming. We got the laughs coming, the good times. And it's a sisterhood around here, okay? So, I... Thank you so much for tuning in to your girl. Thank you for riding with your girl and vibing with your girl. And don't forget that you are beautiful, okay? You are one of a kind. There is no one else in this world like you. Did you know that? And most importantly, you are loved, okay? And if no one else told you today, I love you. Virtual hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See ya. Mwah. Bye.